Hi guys, Michael Weldon here, back for another installment of Homemade with Coles. Today I'm making an absolute classic and a dish that everyone has to know how to make. Lasagna. Everyone loves lasagna. This one I love because we pack it full of vegetables. The first thing we have to do is chop up our onions. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil and then straight in with your onion. Just fry this off till it begins to soften. Two or three minutes, that's all we need. A little pinch of salt in there as well. Now it's time to go in with our meat. We're going to go in with 500 grams of pork and 500 grams of beef mince. So for me, I now put the heat right up and we start frying this off using your spoon just to break it all up. You want to make sure you've got no big chunks of meat and then you want nice individual bits of mince. All right, so our mince has been frying off for about five minutes. Now it's important, there's some liquid will start coming out of the mince. You want to keep cooking it past that stage, otherwise it'll sort of steam and stew and you won't get that nice meaty flavour through your lasagna. Now we're going in with our other ingredients. So I've got two zucchinis, two carrots, 200 grams of mushrooms, all thinly sliced or grated. I'm going to mix them through. And all I do here is just push all of the other ingredients to one side so I've got a bit of the flat pot revealed. I'm going to go in with a nice big tablespoon tomato paste and I want to just fry that off a little bit. Then I'm going to add in a tin of tomatoes. And I'm also going to fill that tin up with water and add that water back in as well. Another pinch of salt here. Stir this through. A little bit of dry oregano. Now we want to give this a stir. Bring it up to that boil and then drop it down to a simmer. And we're going to simmer it for about 25 minutes to half an hour. Just until all those vegetables have softened and that meat has softened down and it looks nice and saucy. We're just going to add to that a bag of spinach. What we want to do it's just wilt them. It should only take one minute. And once they've all cooked down, you can start making that lasagna. You can see that spinach is wilted in to our sauce. We're gonna turn the heat off now. The last thing we need to do before we start layering up our lasagna is just to make our cheesy top layer. So I'm gonna crumble this ricotta cheese just to break it up a little bit. You just wanna go half a cup of milk, grab a whisk, mash it together to be almost like a bit of a, a sauce. This is just gonna be a cheesy layer on top of our lasagna. Now we're going to start by putting in a layer of our tomato sauce and just spread that along the bottom of our dish. This is like the base building block of our lasagna. And then we're going to go in with a couple of our lasagna sheets so that three will fit in there nicely. Give them a little press down and they'll sort of swell up and soak up when they cook. And then we go into that next layer of lasagna. I think we'll probably go for four layers of pasta in here. This is looking beautiful. I love that now it's cooked down, you can't really tell how much vegetable this sauce has in it. The kids will have no idea, so you can trick them into eating extra serves of veggies. Now, we're gonna go in with another layer of our pasta sheets. So we've got our ricotta and our milk mixture here. We're just gonna chuck this straight on top. Obviously when this cooks, it's gonna melt down and go oozy and gooey and sort of bubble away. Just to finish it off, because we need that extra bit of cheese in this, I've just got some shredded tasty cheese here. We're just gonna sprinkle that over the top. Now this guy is gonna go into a 180 degree oven for about 30 minutes till it's all gooey and golden on top and bubbling out the sides. You can poke a knife through, make sure those lasagna sheets have rehydrated and cooked through and then you're good to go. So there you have it, that is my lasagna recipe with all those extra hidden little veggies in there. Thank you for watching guys. See you very soon.